Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here with Michael David of at Michael David Hair. Cool Instagram name. You're Thank a lucky you. guy. I know. I don't know how it wasn't taken. Thank oh you. Oh my God. Uh, so we're at Sharon Duram at Sally Hirschberger, Uptown, New York City. This is like the coolest salon ever. Um, and you're Cozy, here. Homie. Yeah. yeah. I just love, and I love this little space. So you are doing um, blowouts mm -hmm. on behalf of uh, Sharon Duram, who we're going to get to in a minute. Um, and you were telling me that you were having some challenges with Becky's hair. Becky's a colleague of mine at Modern Salon. And tell us, I mean, it's these little fuzzies in the front. Well, just from the color and I think normal baby hairs, there's just a lot that are sticking out on her. So I'm going to show you a few ways to kind of help that out, get rid of those and keep them managed and also keep it healthy too so you don't get further breakage. Okay, so, so break it down for us. What's the how-to? I mean, we are, you already finished drying it and you deliberately left this. I so we had something. out. So I would basically go over, you're going to want to grab a comb and a dryer, and you're going to want to kind of direct that hair, all the baby hairs back. And you can start on with some heat and then actually finish it with the cold air. And that will just kind of help to set them in the right direction that you want. So at this point, there's no product in the hair? There's no product. Nope. This is just all her. So that just, we did a little bit beforehand, but this yeah. just helped out a little bit more. And then you kind of want to finish it off with a pomade, a cream. I'm going to use the Virtue um, 6 in 1 because that helps just kind of hold and it also hydrates. All right, so let's show yeah. everybody what this is. Yep. This guy. Yep. Super moisturizing, but has a little bit of hold to it also. And like I said, the hydration is going to help with it further breaking. Which right, is so you put like a pea size, a pea size, littlest bit. emulsifying. Totally emulsifying in your hand so it's not too heavy. And then you kind of want to just run right through really lightly. And it's just going to kind of help those little guys kind of almost stick in with the rest of the hair. And then I would probably finish it off with just a little bit of hairspray to really set it. And it shouldn't move for the rest of the night. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. And then the other issue that Becky had was she wanted more volume at the crown. So what's your tip for that? A little bit of volume on the crown. I did, um, again, the Virtue. I did the Virtue Mousse. Put a little show this, show this, this guy, and I didn't put it anywhere else. Just a little bit at the crown because she has a lot of natural at the blood. root, at the, at the root, right on the crown, and then you kind of want to just direct it up and back with the blow dryer, and you can also finish it with a uh, like a Velcro roller, let it cool down, and that will help give you this a little bit more lift. And you got all this movement with, um, you didn't use any irons yet, right? This Nothing was all. Yet. Um, what just what's a round brush blow dryer. What size brush do you have? I did for her. I did um, probably about a one inch, one inch, one and a quarter bore bristle, which will help to smooth the hair out also. And you did a gentle twist as you were. Yeah. You don't really want to pull nice. too much, you're going to lose the volume that way. Really nice. I mean, I've known Becky for a while. This is pretty. Her hair has ever been. She has an awesome head of hair. Way to go. And now, did we lose Sharon? I think we, oh, here she comes. So we want to talk to Sharon because Becky has great hair, but since she's been with Modern, she's been playing with, uh, we're having a lot of overlapping color. And we'll, we can go this way. Thank you so much, at Michael David Hair. We'll give you back to this. And come on, we'll go find Sharon. And you're getting a little view of the, you know, do a little pan of the space here, which is so great. We're right next to the Frick Museum. That's outside. Right there is Madison Avenue. And let's go. We're going to go find Sharon, who's greeting editors. And this is what we love about Sharon Duran. People get off the elevator, and they, they're greeted. <laughs> They're greeted with yummies. All right. We kind of we kind of lost Sharon. So in the meantime, I'll just tell you guys, we are here um, visiting because there is a Virtue event, and Virtue is a new line of shampoos and conditioners uh, and some products, and Sharon is actually doing a prescription for everybody. So here we go. Everybody's getting a prescription. Upside down. Everybody's getting a prescription on how to use the, which products to use and how to use them properly. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab her for one second. Just one second. Oh, this, this is the Sharon Duram. I'm sorry to interfere with that conversation. But um, we were with Becky, and Becky has had a lot of uh, color on top of color on top of color, little breakage, mm. and you were telling her how to get her hair back in better yes. condition. So well, fill us in. It's one of the most important things I think if you get great color is how are you going to continue to maintain your great color so I like to send people home with the right shampoos conditioners leave-in conditioners and my favorite my go-to is the mask virtues mask restorative mask I haven't found a product yet that really 
makes such a difference as this mask and this line of shampoos and conditioners. And you were telling me it's made with human protein. Yes, it's so made from, it's, a, it's their proprietary alpha keratin 60 KU is what they call it. But what it really is, is keratin derived from human hair not from the, the most of the keratins that we see on the market none of us realize it's made from beaks and feathers and byproducts of animals and it's kind of disgusting like I mean, you wouldn't want to put that on your skin or your hair and that's what it really is this is derived from human hair your hair recognizes it and it like bonds with like so basically it's as if the the pothole it's like a pothole and it gets filled so your hair looks shinier and smoother and it's more elastic and more manageable and bouncier, the, the end result. It's this, the mask is weightless. I need to say that right up the top because people hear the word mask, they think it's heavy. I hear hairdressers tell me, oh, but it's heavy. It's not heavy, it's weightless. So it's something you can use comfortably. It's beautiful, and here, we're gonna show to you over here. This is the mask that we're talking about. Yep, this is it. Yeah, this is That's the mask. Bye, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Obviously, kind of doing things on the fly here. Um, thank you, guys. And I'm going to go back and see Becky, but thanks for joining us today. Bye.